Top 5 Best Anime of 2017 You Definitely Should Watch Attack on Titan, Season 2 Attack on Titan's first season took viewers on an emotional roller coaster and didn't hesitate to get the tears flowing on the very first episode. Everything about this anime prepared you for the reality that nobody was safe, the secrets would never stop pouring in and every encounter with these bizarre giants was sure to cause some sort of complication with your blood pressure. Season 2 is no different. From the very beginning, yet again, the series refuses to hold back. Attack on Titan comes back with more stunning visuals, that same hair-raising soundtrack, and a narrative that will never let you feel comfortable. And we mean that in the best way possible. If you missed out on the first season, however, you certainly don't want to jump into the fray here. Now is the perfect time to marathon the first season and keep the thrills going right into Season 2. My Hero Academia, Season 2 My Hero Academia isn't an incredibly original anime in terms of its very concept. What it is, however, is a masterpiece in how it deals with the journey of a young boy who desperately wants to live up to the standards being set by those around him. The first season set the bar high and, quite frankly, you couldn't help but fear that the second season would make the plot drag on too long or just ruin the wonderful story that had already unfolded. Fortunately, that wasn't the case. Somehow, the second season only allowed My Hero Academia to get even better. If there was one complaint about the first season, it's that character development didn't feel as complex and thought out as some viewers may have hoped. Some characters still felt relatively flat while others just didn't necessarily connect well with the audience. Season 2 takes care of that and provides layers upon layers for many characters that felt shallow the first time around. Pleasant art direction and great pacing throughout the narrative makes Season 2 a real treat for anyone who stuck around from the first season. Recreators if anyone was handing out an award for the most underrated anime of the first half of 2017, re-creators would certainly walk away with a prize. There are formulas in anime that have been proven time and time again. So much so that it becomes easy to repeat these themes and motifs until it becomes watered down and cliché. Re-creators doesn't fall into that trap but doing something different is never an easy task. Recreators opens up with some serious action scenes that can lead viewers to believe this is a series all about shoving fighting scenes down your throat. That's far from the case. Recreators has depth and a well thought out narrative that is begging to be explored. Later episodes finally start peeling back the layers of this anime in an approach that dials back the action in exchange for more meaningful dialogue. Recreators simply isn't afraid to rely on character development and an unfolding overarching plot to pull viewers in. If you actually buckle in for the ride and stick through the episodes that are void of action, you'll find yourself becoming more and more connected to the colorful cast. That, in turn, makes later battles all the more fascinating by highlighting the many layers that drive new conflicts. The Eccentric Family, Season 2 the Eccentric Family returned for another season this year and it brought back everything that was so captivating about the first season. This anime steers clear of being a cookie-cutter show filled with the usual tropes and stands out as a multi-layered, complex masterpiece that is extremely relatable despite being anchored in a magical world. The Eccentric Family features a colorful cast of creatures known as Danuki and Tainu who have always lived in the same world as humans but kept their existence a secret. For many viewers, the second season can feel a bit like a break from the various challenges and hardships that characters were facing in the first season. While the second season still comes with its fair share of hurdles for the characters to overcome, it certainly seems like this season doesn't tax your emotions quite as much or quite as frequently. The eccentric family has many elements that are worthy of the highest praise and it's an original series that is incredibly hard to forget. Not Soon's Book of Friends, Season 6 There is one word that is commonly used to describe this simple yet charming series, heartwarming. Even if you aren't a fan of slice-of-life anime, you may want to consider giving this one a try. It's not recommended that you pick up the anime on the sixth season but rest assured that your trek from Season 1 to Season 6 would be well worth it. The series has spent quite a bit of time following the random adventure of Natsume Takashi, 
a 15-year-old orphan boy who can see otherworldly creatures known as Yukai. This proves to be only one of the gifts that were given to Nistum by his grandmother. The other is her book of friends, which has served as the foundation of this series for each and every season as Nistum searches for each of the spirits that are listed in the book. His goal is to release the spirits that were once attached to his grandmother. Frankly, six seasons of an anime about a teenage boy who just can't seem to catch a break but then becomes devoted to releasing spirits sounds like something that could easily get repetitive. Rest assured that not Soom's book of friends steers clear of feeling like a carbon copy of previous seasons. Every season, every episode, and every new encounter just feels unique and new despite their fair share of similarities.